Welcome back. This is probably going to be a very elementary uh, video for some, but I guess if we're going to go through everything about this machine, we may as well start at the very, very basics. So I guess it's um, getting your machine set up for use. So I've already taken the liberty of installing the gas hose on the back of the machine, which screws into the port with the gas picture on it. Um, next step is TIG welding. This machine will be used in its TIG welding mode. You'll need to connect an earth clamp, like so. So this is a what's called a dince plug. It's like a around 12 mil or so uh, copper lug with a little keyway on it. So this will go in for TIG welding into the positive port. Tighten up, just hand tight. Doesn't need to be too crazy as long as it's not loose. Um, and that goes into the left positive port, which shows a picture of an earth clamp. Um, to get the TIG torch set up, pretty straightforward. Got a few different connections on the torch here. This is the control, which goes into the 8 pin port there. Um, just one thing to mention is that the build quality of this machine is just outstanding. The, um, all the plugs are, uh, well, this is a Burndy plug, but they're all like military spec hardware, they're just amazing. Um, quite a lot different to what you'll see on a lot of um, Chinese made machines which are just you know, plugs that you look at them wrong and they're going to fall apart on you. Um, we've got you know, cable, um, conduit, corrugated conduit protecting the wires, we've got a strain relief there in the form of a um, cable gland, we've got a solid steel, solid steel like quarter turn threaded connection which will connect back to the plug on the machine and once again we've got the ubiquitous um, 35 square mil dense plug which is attached to the attached to the torch um, cable which is like a silicon coated copper power cable so this, this thing is so flexible it's it's not not funny it's um yeah look at that it's very flexible hose the torch package um, and then you've got your gas fitting, which is a quarter inch gas fitting there. So I usually start with the gas because it's the hardest to get on. You need the space around it. So quite easy. You just get the um, get the gas fitting. It's a right hand thread. Righty tighty. Get it as close as possible. And then get a set of pliers. A tool just to nip it up. Doesn't need to be super tight, just tight enough to seat that fitting there. Next is our dense plug, push and quarter turn. Just hand tight. And then once again the burn D plug, the 8 pin plug, it's keyed. So the there's a large, hopefully you can see that, a large um, keyway up the top. That fits a 12 o'clock over here line it up, slot it in, and then it's just a matter of turning the, the ring until it seats, which gives you a nice positive click when it's done. So that's the machine ready to ready to power on. Um, quite an easy matter of flicking the switch on the back and then you're ready to rock and roll. So for most of you that's probably three minutes and 50 seconds of your life wasted but at least you can see how it should be done obviously earth clamp will connect to the job or the welding bench um, the TIG torch is the business end as you know so alright um, nice basic one um, stay tuned for the next